Guardrails are not only a safety feature, but can be attractive as well. The first step is to cut your 4x4 rail post to the proper height. Then ease the edges with a router. The IRC requires all residential guardrails be at least 36 inches high. Check with your local building department for more information. After cutting the posts, the second step is to attach your guardrail posts. For inside mounted guardrails, you must install your rail posts before installing the decking using blocking. Outside mounted guardrail systems are easier to install. We recommend that you don't notch your rail posts. Rail posts should be spaced no further than six feet apart. Use two half inch carriage bolts to attach each post to the rim board. The third step is to measure the distance between each rail post and cut your 2x4 top and bottom rails, then install them between the posts, allowing for a 3.5 inch sweep space. Use four 3.5 inch trim screws driven in diagonally for attachment. The fourth step is to attach your balusters. The space between your balusters may not exceed 4 inches. To determine your baluster spacing, start by marking the center of the rail. Then position a 2x4 spacer block from the center mark and walk it towards the post. This will determine whether you will have a baluster or space at the center of the rail. Make adjustments as necessary for the most even spacing. Simply screw each baluster to the top and bottom rail using a 2.5 inch trim screw. The fifth and final step is to install the 2x6 or 5 quarters by 6 top cap over the top rail. This piece will either terminate between posts allowing you to install a post cap or run over the posts continuously over the entire rail. You may use a router to round over the edges as a decorative finish. Stair guardrail construction follows the same techniques as regular guardrails except that they follow the same angle as the stairs and must be at least 34 inches high measured from the nosing of the treads. Verify all building code requirements and techniques shown in this video with your local building department.